You know, there's like uh, I don't I don't poop anywhere else except at home because. I like to take my time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I like to be in the bathroom 30 minutes. Like, I might as well get uh, a skin routine while we in here. Let's, yeah. You know, let's make it a good trip while we in here. But you got to watch out. There's a such thing as, like, quick poopers. Like, there's people that can poop. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please remember your story. <laughs> this man key just did the fattest thing I've ever seen. What you do? Man pulled out candy out his pocket and took the quickest bite like he was hiding it from me. And, you know, he didn't, because he, I have these glasses on, so he didn't see I saw him. And the way he did it, I was like. <laughs> that's the, but that's the thing about big people. They usually do their work in private. Like, you know. <laughs> Bro, I can eat candy. But What's no, but that's problem? Problem? This other thing is about key, too. Okay, go ahead. But, so, you know somebody pooping when you yell their name and then the toilet flushes immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Key, where you at? And you flush the toilet. And then. How I knew he pooped after that, confirmed, he started whistling. Yeah, yeah, the whistle always confirms <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that boy pooped. It got caught. Because poop. the whistle's always... The heck there's done. The you wh- let somebody cut you out of pooping. But you how you know... I'm going to get hemorrhoids, you said? What? What? <laughs> standing? What you say? <laughs> what the f- Bro, you be help. Bro, you might be schizophrenic, bro. <laughs> Nah, I just thought you said that. I know, that's what schizophrenia <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> anyway. Nobody that's schizophrenic <laughs> thinks they're schizophrenic, bro, because they see it. Everybody do that. That's why they take medicine. Oh, my God. Oh my like, God. what are you talking about? All right, like, welcome to Crash Dummies medicine. episode 147. Seven. We just released a Patreon episode. Um, Go check it out. We will be calling... The winner of the giveaway for Patreon. Her name is Monica. She won it. Uh, we'll be calling her next week. Hey, so you guys know. There you go. Name drop. Now you just did it to the the non Patreon people. What? As you know, now we got even more racist listeners. And by you saying Monica, you know what they just said after what? that. Monica. They what? talk about oh Monica won. Oops. Oh my. <laughs> the ABC. I got. I got. <laughs> it's always the old white ones that go off. Did you? Did you? Uh, did you? You used to do stuff in front of your parents that wasn't that just to make them mad. Like, you ever did this in the, front of your parents? Like, like, I did the middle finger one that you the put The middle in, finger, yeah, but yeah. you got the ring finger. Yeah. Or, um. I did be like the damn. I'd be like, beaver. Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind of test them out. Or I'd be like, man, shit talky mushrooms. <laughs> like, shit talky mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie. My parents never really cared about, um. Swear words like that. I don't think in Nigeria it's just not really a, it's a theme, but it's not really like seen as a frowned upon. It's all it's it, it's it's such a weird concept of like um. It seems as rude language, I guess. It's but all not about as like how word. you like grow up in like how you grow up in front of your parents. Yeah. Because I know some people that still they they think it's disrespectful to cuss around their parents. Yeah. And they're just like, man, these are words I've been waiting to say my whole life. It I was fun. I can't change. I don't really change my language around my parents. But though my parents made me stop doing cursing so much sometimes as a, a eighth grader because I would take advantage of it. I was like go overboard because like my friends be like oh, I can't say hell or ass around my parents. I'm like, oh, what y'all talk about? I was like, come here. I'm just like come around my mom. And be like I just beat his ass at basketball, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then my mom started to notice that I was just doing that on purpose, mm-hmm. and she's like, yeah, you gotta no more because <laughs> I was letting it fly at home for yeah. no reason I would have put your ass in special aid quick that's it something is wrong with this <laughs> nigga just love to cuss <laughs> it's funny I curse less now than I did as a kid I cuss a lot more now I, I wasn't I able to cuss I actually don't cuss that much you don't curse that much in real life but sometimes you go on the podcast you just like it's like this is my therapy <laughs> session bro this is when I feel good if I, if I didn't have a podcast no, bro I would Pat, real life hurt somebody Pat curses a lot on the pod and then when he's actually angry at something like I man is, is Pat mad at something or something that happened that nigga is cursing. <laughs> <laughs> He's cursing. Hey, and then he'll call, hey, he'll call like, it'll be, it'll be something random happened with like somebody, like we went in um, a store or something or like a clerk that offended him or some shit. And then this man will say the most random shit about that person. Like, damn, that shit was evil. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. But it's better to do that than to like me slap the shit out the dude, which I could have did <laughs> with his bitch ass. <laughs> Fuck, nigga. <laughs> For real, that shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that should be having me hot, bro. <laughs> Ain't nothing about, like, there's no more, like, disrespect than being disrespected unprovoked. Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> Especially when you know a person is like trying to take advantage of who they thought you were. Yeah. And you like, bro, I can't wait to show you who I really am. Like, <laughs> I'm really about to cut into you. <laughs> like you got that coworker. We not even at like the, the top job, right? We yeah. still in college. You know what I'm saying? We're working at a convenience store. I will slap the shit out you, nigga. <laughs> like, what are you? I'm not afraid to lose this job. <laughs> That's how I feel about people that don't say thank you. Nah, that's crazy though. Only I don't say thank you, but I'm best believe I'm giving you. But you know you're thankful though. So like, oh, you saying I'm people saying, like you, you hold say- the door for a nigga, nobody they just walk past you, or oh, you give somebody something, you. yeah, and they just be like, they just look at you, stern. I, I be feeling good like I'm in that passive forward commercial. I forgot what credit card company did that, but the passive forward commercial where one person do a good deed. And then everybody start doing good deeds for each other. Cause what one, is pass it forward? Hold on. Pass it forward. So pass like, it forward. Yeah. Oh. Let's just say pass it forward. It sounded like a. Like, sounded weird. Like pass a makeup it. store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, boy is yeah. schizophrenic. <laughs> no, he said Mike disagreed. No, he didn't agree. He just he agreed. said it sounded like a makeup store. Yeah, but with the words you said. I'm staying out of it. He's staying out of it, nigga. Yeah. You dress, you dress like a box of Golden Grams. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> you pissing me off, bro. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, come on. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Drake and, um, I guess, Kendrick Lamar uh, did Shout this on Kendrick. the Future uh, song. Yeah. Uh, that shit was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It was good. The verse was good. Real good. It was a good verse, but I, I feel like on... I saw people's reaction to it before I heard it, so they, it always made me like make it seem like he said like it was like a push a T type of this or some shit where he was like going in. But you know who he's talking about. Yeah, it so was basically like makes it. It was cool. It's was, it was basically like a charged up when Drake did uh, charged up. That's what I kind of felt like Hell it was. Hell no. When Drake made the song charged up, it was just like nothing. It was just like it was a teaser. It was, it was a, a teaser. teaser. Yeah, yeah. Could come. Right. Yeah, I don't. I also, I don't think the verse was that crazy, but also. I, I know Kendrick knows the verse wasn't that yeah. crazy. It's like a, it's a jab. Yeah, it's a definitely jab. Hey, what you want to do? Why would Kendrick put out a bunch of diss stuff if he's not even sure mm-hmm. Drake is going to diss back? Yeah. That's the whole point of battle rap. That's why battle rap go round by round. It don't go like. Because it, it, it still sounds like one of those, it's one of those disses where it's like a still very competitive diss more than like a, I hate this nigga's guts and soul. This. Right, or it's oh, not yeah, like, like back is, then. Like when, like when Drake and Meek Mill, they really didn't like each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Push your T, right? Push your T. They really don't like each other. They like, involve in pe- other people. They yeah, like your dead, fr- your dead best friend and shit like that. Corey Lane's crazy. Meg The Stallion. Yeah, like Nicki Minaj and uh, Meg The Stallion. You know that's like real beef. Like exactly. They, they can't be in the same Parents room. Parents are mentioned and shit like yeah. that. Husbands. Yeah. Yeah, this is more like competitive, which people forget. That's what hip hop is like made off of. Because mm-hmm. in reality. There can't be a lot of people at the top. That's why hip hop becomes competitive. Yeah, like it, there just can't be that many rappers at the top because there's so many debates and fans create rivalries more than anything. That's how rivalries happen. Mm-hmm. Like there's a podcast out there that we're gonna be compared to one day, and then we never heard of them. They never heard of us, <laughs> and then somebody gonna say <laughs> that we gonna somebody gonna accidentally like retweet something that says the other podcast is better than the other yeah and then that's when the war starts I've and been that's seen, when they find out we not the niggas to be playing with <laughs> <laughs> we'll I've been seeing those beat. I've been seeing those debates on uh, Twitter I mean on TikTok actually where it's like it'll be like the shits and gigs podcast versus the basement yard podcast and you just see people in the comments saying no basement yard is better or whatever shits and gigs <laughs> is better stuff like that and like downing the other then they start throwing a whole nother podcast that has nothing to do with it in it but this people they suck though <laughs> i was like they aren't even here so yeah. it's definitely a fan made uh yeah I saw, yeah oh yeah i saw that big yeah. debate i really never care about that podcast as long as like i respect original podcasts yeah. and not saying none of those podcasts are unoriginal but the more original the podcast is the more i respect I have for like nobody's doing a certain thing you do obviously everybody gets behind the mic and yeah. talks about every subject but everybody can you can still have your own style yeah right and not everybody that's popular has their own style some people mm-hmm. are just engagement farming mm-hmm. and I don't respect that so much as like the art of it mm-hmm. that don't mean you can't sell and make your money and I would never say your name to make your money go down <laughs> <Yeah>. or up <laughs> so Keep going, fuck nigga. <laughs> but I guess people are saying now are is the Drake or J. Cole going to respond? I always feel like a geek. I'm not gonna lie. When we talk about these I, rapper stuff, I always feel like a geek sometimes. I though, heard sometimes. A, a leak of J. Cole releasing <laughs> something, but I don't know the, if it's direct. So so what the thing about it is like why well, I think first of all, Kendrick's attack is genius, right? 
you do it unexpectedly because if let's say he Drake, was feature, yeah. j- let's say Drake knows that Kendrick might say something about him. Uh-huh. So like, and he hear, and if he heard Kendrick was coming out with an album or a mixtape that's set to come out this time, maybe Drake jumps back in the studio. Like, Hey, I know I got a little bit beef with Kendrick. Let me jump in the studio and write this just in case he comes with some shit. So to come through like a feature, it's like all right, you know he did with the feature. Attack. The features weren't listed either, so you didn't really know who it exactly. Was, yeah. And then the second surprise attack, which is fucked up for Drake and J Cole. Now it's like y'all didn't really got to talk about who's going to respond first, mm-hmm. because if we put our stuff out at the same time, now people are going to try to rank our disses against each yeah. other and not even worry about like what we're uh-huh. saying towards Kendrick. I know it look kind of corny. Yeah, kind of look corny. Like, yeah, ah. it'd, be like, it'd be like it's a two-on-one type of shit. But I will say... Because then it'd be like, all right, it's like, you know, yeah. Kendrick can post that meme with the rappers coming at him, yeah. and he's like the last samurai type of shit. <laughs> but I, I will say Drake doesn't really um, address beef like that I've seen unless he feels like the person is like really talking shit about their life. Like, yeah. like, like a Joe Budden <laughs> or Meek Mill. Like, okay, this is like real, real personal, not really competitive. Yeah. But I want to say, like, a lot of people are uncovering, like, Drake's old album and going to see, like, he's made remarks way before everybody came out with stuff. Yep. You just didn't know who it was about. Yeah. Right? You just assume, I think everybody assumes everything's about Kanye. Yeah. Right? And that's, like, his most public beef right now. So if you go back and that people are saying, oh, damn, he's been talking to Usher. He's been saying something to Metro. He's been saying something to Kendrick. Yeah. These are people... I- Responding more than and Metro doesn't like Drake either. Yes, so there's like Rick oh, that Ross beef. doesn't like Drake a- anymore. You think? Supposedly, I heard no. Him? I heard Future. I heard you there's know, something with him and Future. Too. It was about a girl. They I don't know what the Rick Ross. I, I don't know the real. The Rick one. Ross one come from like his baby mom said that Drake talks bad about Rick Ross. Uh, but Rick Ross talks uh, bad about uh, Drake. So they Rick Ross unfollowed him on IG. It was funny too because the on that concert when they were previewing that like. Uh, that the one the song that uh, he was that on that, like was that cold. that beat that intro that is crazy beat. that beat's crazy Ooh. but um Ooh. Travis was the one that was featuring that at the set he's like hey play that dun 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 you some of that clip and yeah. they started playing it out there I thought Travis was on the song and so like I wonder if Travis even knew if it was a diss song to Drake maybe that's he found out and didn't want to get on it yeah but to him to say that's the song to play oh, at Rolling yeah, Loud yeah. yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> who knows? Yeah. And the thing about it is, like, um, with this new style of rap, it's not the old school style of rap where the person say they, the, the person first name, the business out playing site. People are trying, they're still trying to be lyrical, and they learn the way. Like, we still got to sell a song. Like, yeah. It still got to sound good. I can't say future on the track. I can just <coughs> throw subliminals and do Easter eggs. Yeah. And it's way sellable. Now, her loss is getting a lot of plays. So, is Drake up right now? Strategic. <laughs> Everything is about getting money. Are we over your podcast. For sure. We definitely over your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't gonna lie. We'll Ver- give- Verse was cool. <laughs> Verse was definitely tough. It's just nice to see Kendrick rapping that way. Though. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the f- that's Kendrick's the really good at this. Like the the I, I don't Be know what modern. the word is. The f- the phonat the phonat phon- phonetics or phonetics of his voice. Yeah, yeah when he was yeah. like boom, that that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like eh, uh, that that part. I was like, yeah, yeah. 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 He's, if you any no artist is like famous for no reason. Like every artist, even the ones that you think is rapping real simple, the melodic shit. Like you would think, like if I told you, um, what's the dude that rap? He kind of. He don't rap like 21 Savage, but he rap a little, a lower octave. Nardo Wick. Nardo Wick. Now I don't know how I forget his name. But <laughs> Nardo Wick, right? Nah, hey, that's an old hat thing. If you, go, like, listen to, if you go listen to his whole album, bro, like, he is like, they, they be talented as hell, bro. Yeah. Like, all of them talented. In their own way, depending yeah. on how you ride the beat. Exactly. Bro, calm down, brother. Calm down. As you said, depending on how you ride the meat is crazy, bro. How you reaching that far? <laughs> I ain't reaching for nothing, brother. <laughs> I was thinking of music, too. Uh, people are saying that uh, there's a debate now. We're saying, like, Sexy's Red music is not that great. And then... Fire. So I, Get it sexy. I was, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Get it sexy. The producers, producers who, who are makes the beats and stuff like that, man, they need mm. they need more credit. Shout out to Because even Keith. that Sexy Red song, I'm saying, like, if it was on another beat, I don't know how I would like it. But the beat mixed with her voice and everything... Them songs crazy. are tough. Them songs are tough. I think she just like um, Project Pat. She rap just like Project Pat. It's, bro. it's it's that and it's like you know like the knuck if you buck. Yeah, it's kind of like 
if like the the knucking you buck made it to like this era, which yeah. is like they would do very well in this era. I think it's some like, of those beats even sample those things too. Do, do yep. it, yeah, man. She and she she's really her marketing team is crazy. Her whoever it is, I don't want to take credit away from her. Yeah, and you can say the beats and produ- we don't know what she's doing. No, no, I'm just saying. Right? I'm just I'm just saying like that she it knows do. how to find the right beats for her right. voice. But she, you don't. Know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I think that's harder than making a good beat. Yeah, Hell it's yeah. A, it's a person that says. This is dope because it's a lot of beats that it's like those made for her. It take a long time to find a good beat, right? Yeah. It's it's artists that passed on beats and just be like, no, I want that. What's that one song that Kanye got where he's like, "Common pass on this beat, I made it to a jam. Everything I'm not made me everything I am." Like it's Common, an older one. Common heard that beat and was like, "Nah." Yeah, and then Kanye made it like one of the best. Even songs I ever. think Joe Budden was talking about it on his podcast uh, where he's is pump it up. Somebody passed on that beat too. And then his big, it was his biggest song. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You never know what people want to hear. Yep. And the right strand of weed to get you there. <laughs> I want to smoke what Thug be smoking. <laughs> I don't know. He be in here sometimes. Ah. Eh. Oh. <laughs> it's always funny. It's always funny hearing those rappers do their ad libs. But it makes sense. It so, makes so much sense. I want you, man. I dare you to try to go do your own ad libs. You yeah. gonna feel so stupid after. <laughs> you go, ah. Oh! Yeah, but in your headphones, you sound you sound good though. Yeah, because you hear the whole song after they fix it. But why are you doing it? He's like, yeah. Not on me. Nope. <laughs> Hell no. Fuck no. <laughs> Never, 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 never. <laughs> well, yeah, but I was gonna say, but if you heard that high voice and then it was right, you'd be like, oh, he snapped. People always talk about like the content of music these days. Like they'll be like, oh, sexy red, her music is, it's not good for the black community. I saw somebody say they're not good for the the black community, right? But I just don't get like when people say, oh, we need like old school hip hop. What the, them niggas were talking about some fucked up shit back then. It's just they said it. They might have said it in a more cooler way, yep. where a scene more like you know, oh, like they, oh they said it like, bruh, like the content of the rap was worse now than it was before then, bruh. It's just more viral now, probably, bruh. <laughs> Ice Cube got a song called <laughs> "No Vaseline." <laughs> what are we talking about? Fucked out your money by a white man. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying like how vulgar rap used to be. Yeah, I don't, I, I, it has not really. Change like it just is more digestible now than it was before because you can so see it on TikTok what I, what I, and Instagram. What it's I will so say, easily accessible. Yeah, what I will say, the thing that's missing is, um, like the pro black yeah stuff is not really there anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got artists like Lil Baby, shout out Lil Baby, that um, <laughs> <laughs> shout out my lady. <laughs> Look, really it's always funny every time he talks about a rapper or somebody like shout out them because it's like anytime we ever have to say something critical about somebody and they hear it then it's like nah bro I shouted you out right nah, here bro right here. <laughs> I know I said that song was trash but look at this clip <laughs> Shout out my label, that's me. Somebody send us a little baby. <laughs> what were you saying? I forgot. <laughs> Just vibing, bro. This is my vacay. I'm going to start taking vacays on the pod since this I don't get time said, off hold work. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, brother. I know. Vacay. The, 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 uh, <laughs> y'all probably don't even know why we have glasses on. We don't know either, though. But shout out to James Oro. You know, got her, you know, we're fresh right now. But uh, <laughs> what was I going to say? We definitely... I was saying this the other day, bro. We've been shooting a podcast for <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my bad. <laughs> we've been shooting a podcast for like two years, three, almost three years, every week. And I was like, damn, I need a fucking break. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I think about retiring, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I got shit in the rafters. We ain't making no way. We're just like, man, got shit in the rafters already. It's, it's kind of getting scary now because yeah. I, I don't want to be uh, working corporate. In five years, showing people old clips like, yeah, yeah man, your boy used to have yeah. it. Sending people screenshots and shit where they call me lame at work. He got me fucked up. Look yeah. how many followers I used to have. Fuck, nigga. I used to be on live 250 in that bitch. <laughs> Still trying to get on live and shit 10 years later. And you heard them doing the little would you rathers for uh, icebreakers and shit. And be like, nah, nah, nah. Let me tell you how that shit started. <laughs> Y'all boys don't even know where that. Y'all boys don't even know where that orangutan question came from. <laughs> Let me teach you something, young boy. <laughs> Respect your elder. <laughs> Comment on other people's podcasts that's using our questions and yeah. shit. Hell no. <laughs> we been there. They need to respect the founding fathers. Oh, God. Oh, other people's podcasts calling people fuck niggas. I hate when old NBA players do that, bro. Yeah. Like, you owe it to that player 
not to do that. Even if you think that, even if that's your biggest opinion, you know how much your opinion weigh. I always think it's like a responsibility. Like I have some responsibility to every podcast that's like around us, popularity wise and below us to not talk shit about them. Cause I know I can sway an opinion and affect their pockets. Mm. That's why I only feel like you should be talking about people that are more popular. Than you, if you got a bad opinion, you can't have no bad opinion on a bad podcast. Now you're taking away they 10 listeners they got. <laughs> like, anybody that listens to that podcast, a fuck nigga. Then it's like 10 fuck niggas like, oh my God. <laughs> they but followed us. People let people bully them out of what they like, though. Anything. Mm-hmm. Like, people actually, like, you can anything. like something, and like if the crowd doesn't like you, then you're like, nah. That's very I guess, true. I guess that's, I guess that's not really that good. That's very true. I <laughs> see that on our live all the time. I'd be like, damn, this is actually a good song. Yeah. And I look at the comments, trash, trash, trash. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, struggle. One chord on this guitar, ass. <laughs> like, what? what the fuck? Especially because you know people, way people usually consume music is like you know in HD, like really high quality stuff. Like so, when you hear something live over a speaker, then they don't really listen with those like ears where they say, "Let me take the uh, the production out of this and try to listen to what he's actually saying." If I ever, like when I comment on stuff, I'm still gonna call it ass. Yeah, because. <laughs> I'm saying the production is ass. Mm-hmm. And especially now, yeah. I like get on people about having like ass production. Like it's not good uh-huh. like, at all. There's too much there's technology built in the app that you're posting it on that could have made this video better. Yeah. So that shows me you not doing no research. <laughs> like that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If 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 somebody going through a math class and you see them do homework every day and they fail the test, you feel bad for them. Like, uh-huh. damn, yeah. like you just ain't got it. You just ain't talented enough, but at least you working hard, you consistent, and then maybe get it one day. Uh-huh. But if you see somebody not giving no effort towards something and they failing, like, bro, this deserve one life. Yeah. And one comment yeah. from me, you ass. <laughs> Broke that boy heart. <laughs> we need more electricians. <laughs> so you really trying to hurt people, ruin people's dream on the internet? Just to get the economy back going, bro. <laughs> oh my God. We need more people working, bro. <laughs> We need to get rid of some of these. Bro, it's about like 10 rappers right now that are probably the best shooters in the world. We need them overseas right now, sniping shit. <laughs> we need black NASCAR drivers. Come on, Kia boys. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro. Bro, a black NASCAR driver? Bro. I've never heard of that before. That's exactly. crazy. Exactly. That was Bubba, what's his name? Bubba Watson? Yeah, they found like a noose in his, um, yeah, but on they, his garage. But then remember they showed the actual picture. It looked like a garage. A noose? It just looked like a normal garage pool thing. Was shaped like I think he was reaching. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was, cause I don't at think first, he was no, no, because look, at first I was like, nah, there's no way he did. But then when I saw it compared to the other d- garage things, I was like, yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't big enough to go around anybody's neck. And, but it ain't oh, about uh, that. It's about the symbol. <laughs> but it was the garage. Yeah, like mocking thing. Him. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he like full Jesse Small edit, but it was like a so Jesse done right. No. You think what he, he do? you think he lied too? Jesse? Yeah. For sure. 100%. Because he, he appealed it, right? Yeah, he tried to appeal. He he went to they found him guilty of lying. Uh, twice? Oh, I think they appealed it. Something happened after that. It was something with the judge. I don't know the story, but we know he was lying. And the brothers said he was lying too. What did he do? He pretended uh he got uh a hate crime committed against him. Oh, the and guy he, from power? Yeah. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't know his name. Yeah, yeah. I but, you but knew, how do you know it's from power? Know. How did the news thing get? Because the news thing correlates because I remember hearing something about that. Like, okay, so that damn, gets, somebody faked that. Okay, so that brings up my next point, right? Somebody had like a video of Adam 22 walking with a dog uh, and he was walking a dog and there was a gay porn star that was walking with him down the neighborhood. Yes. And a person like went, put his phone out the window and just like, Adam 22 is walking with a gay porn star. And then, like, he felt like he just walked, like, broke news and stuff. Like, I broke this big news, and he put it on the internet. And then all the comments was like, how you know he a gay porn star? <laughs> <laughs> how? Like, bro. Like, off rip, though. Like, yeah. there's, like, you put the camera up, and you knew immediately, like, that's a familiar face. Yeah. Like, there's, like, I don't know. There's no porn star that can walk in my face, and I'd be like, damn, that's such and such. Like, there's nobody I know like the... Like girls? Yeah. Pinky, you crazy? I don't... Mia I'm saying, Khalifa. like, in, in person. Yeah, maybe Mia Yeah, Khalifa. if I saw Mia Khalifa Yeah, Mia Khalifa, yeah. But she's, like, she's been on national TV before. 
Tiana Trump. Tiana Trump, yeah. Been on national TV before. Ruby Rose not a point star, right? Miscategorizing <laughs> 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 people in the porn star category. Well, OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans is considered porn. It's no, you crazy. Crazy. Uh, do. The people that do other stuff on OnlyFans. Like what? What like feet pics? No, not even that. That's people, still porn. People, people, people treat their por- uh, OnlyFans as like like Patreon. So you get to see. That's how it started. You know, like it just started. Like some people, I know people have the yeah, cooking yeah. shows and mm-hmm. shit like that. It just started as like a Patreon thing. It's just like. People took that route to post their content. That's what it became popular for. That's crazy. And they and they was the first people to allow it. Yeah, you can't do that on Patreon. Yeah, yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the OnlyFans. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a thing that just happened on its own. That was like during the pandemic because people used to do the um, they used to do the Snapchat memberships. Mm. But you know that was like not really regulated. I remember when I lost my Snapchat. I thought buying that was going to help. Oh, I thought you said Biden was going to help. Now I'm schizophrenic. Um, buying what? The membership, Snapchat membership. No, I was talking about like the girls that used to do the Snapchat memberships. Oh, you talking about a private story? Yes, like oh. that. Oh, yeah. You know how horny you gotta be to <laughs> be masturbating and clicking your phone at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, like that scene right there. Then I went past. It. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is a lot of clicking. Nah, you are horny, my boy. Yeah. You got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is crazy. <laughs> now I was it, worried about the and, it, and you guys see how many stories it is, and you like your phone has to be on, like on the whole time. Man, <laughs> phone hot as hell. Yeah. <laughs> you get a snap in the middle of it. God yeah, yeah. <laughs> get a notification. No, a notification while you beating is crazy. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> FBI agent. Man, it's borderline, my boy. <laughs> what? An FBI agent. Mm-hmm. Do y'all feel like we got FBI agents on our phones? Nah. What? I, I think there's like, a, I think there's. I think Apple with, with an iPhone, not really, because Apple would be getting in trouble with the government with, um with uh they don't be giving people their information and stuff like that. Bruh. Any, Apple is definitely police. Any Anything can be flagged. It's just about like, wh- what's the reason for like mm-hmm. flagging it? Everything could be flagged. Like if you're in an airport, there's a certain amount of words that can be like, if you're. That's talked on your phone. Mm-hmm. That's typed to your phone. Like yeah, yeah. if somebody was in an airport and I typed the word "bomb" to their phone, there would definitely be something that knows that bomb was typed to yeah, his phone, yeah, and something. they're watching you in the airport. Yeah, like they have that much. I think people underestimate technology. People under- those, are, those are like jokes you shouldn't even do. Like <laughs> exactly. Man, that's There's some immature crazy. people I've seen I'm doing like these pranks and shit, and they'd be doing like those bomb pranks and all that stuff. I'm like y'all, that's definitely a setup because you do that in real life, like. <laughs> Shit can happen. Scary. You get hurt. But I, but I think, I think people underestimate technology because we ain't got flying cars. Yeah. But just because we don't have this certain thing doesn't mean that it's not possible. Yeah. I guarantee we have the technology. But you've seen a lot of these cases that, like, especially with some of these rappers and stuff like that, and like the 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 trails they leave behind, and mm-hmm. like, I mean, they go on Twitter and say half the shit they did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, but I also think like our medical stuff hasn't caught up to the technology we can have mm-hmm. because. If somebody get in a car accident in a flying car and they both fall, like, ain't no bringing them back. Yeah. So, like, why create <laughs> even more deaths? By just, oh, we can have flying cars, but we still can't heal nobody yeah. quick. Like, <laughs> they did say we was going to have flying cars around this time. I guarantee we, we have them. There's still cars They just don't allow you to use them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember when they said the world was going to end in 2012? Yeah, I definitely yeah. thought it was. Oh, man. It probably did. This is probably just a reset. We just didn't know. Yeah, it ended in 2016. <laughs> that was the anyway, best year for everybody. That was. That's crazy. All right, let's get to some listener calls. Yo, what's good? Yo. Welcome to Crash Race Podcast. What's good? Thanks for having me. Thanks right. for having me. Automated voice having that. <laughs> All right, we got a question for you. <laughs> yeah. What's something that you like, but you can't say out loud? Girls that low-key... Low key, very, very low key look like guys. I know Pat feels me on this one. If like, well, I, I, I don't feel you on this one. But go ahead. You hear me out. Trust me. A girl. Actually, no. <laughs> no. I'm standing up for myself today, and I'm actually cutting off what could be a viral clip. But I'm cutting off this listener caller. And I'm just refusing to indulge in this conversation. <laughs> Go ahead, explain yeah. yourself. You got you to gotta see the vision. <clears throat> Jeez. But basically, you see her walking in, cl- 
<clears throat> Jesus, my God, guys. Uh, uh, all right. You see her walking in school. She's short haircut, you know? And you wonder, damn, is that a boy or a girl? If it's, <laughs> That's a crazy uh, first thought. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> if it's a girl, you're like, damn, she's bad. But if it's a guy, you keep it to yourself. And, yeah, it's really a risk you sometimes got to take. Uh, you could have just said you're bisexual. No, 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 no. I don't even know if that's bisexual. You though. don't think so? The attraction to both? I guess it technically oh. is bisexual. I don't know what to call this, though. Uh, uh, am I bi? No, I'm not bi. <laughs> <laughs> that's having an inner dialogue with himself about his sexuality is crazy on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I swear it's only girls. I swear, I swear, I swear. But like I wasn't, I, I would, I've never been wrong though. It's always been the girl that just happens to have a look like a guy, but not like a masculine guy, like a, a fin boy. Oh. All right, <laughs> you just said a whole bunch of words. We don't <laughs> know what to say. Pat <laughs> kills me. He's just trying to. He's he's not trying to admit it. No, I I just don't. I don't. I'm like um. I'm concerned. I'm not concerned for you. I mean, you like what you like, but I figure you should you should figure that out for yourself. Why why is that going on? Yeah, that is a it's a good question. Is it more like a like tomboys? No, 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 no. Those are the worst. <laughs> so you're not even saying like the Hooper type girl that always <laughs> dressed in sweats. I'm saying like all right, imagine this, right? Uh, a Caucasian woman with a short haircut. A thick Caucasian woman with a short haircut. Yeah. That was it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But like, when, <laughs> oh I, say, my God. when I say short haircut, I don't mean like a, a girl's short haircut. I'm thinking like, okay, a mullet. You got to see the vision. This boy uh, attracted to NFL offensive linemen. <laughs> All right, man. Hope you f- you find out uh, which letter in the um, which letter you are. Um, I think it's just girls. Hope so. Hey, twenty twenty four, man. Twenty twenty four. Oh, I love the new merch, by the way. Oh, thank you, man. Of course. Yep. It's some right. bisexual stuff. What were you supposed to do with that? I don't know. I don't know. I d- <laughs> like, like, what are we supposed to do with that? All right, we got a question for you. Uh, what's yeah. the weirdest way someone has successfully slid into your DMs? All right, I'm going to give a preface, just a little backstory. In high school, senior year, I was about 390. Like, I'm, I was huge. 390? Like, yeah, but Damn. six foot. Not that that fixes it. But Did you like play football or something? 90. No, 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 no. I was like pathetic, low key. Oh, yeah, you're just like, reg- a regular fat nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. ambition whatsoever. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. So, um, there was this girl who low key made me look little. And I didn't even see it. It was like a, a message request that was four months old and it just said, God, you're so fucking hot. And I'm like, I, there's no way. So I read it. By the way, I'm like very suicidal at this point in my life. Just throwing that one out there. Interesting point. What did kill uh, try to kind of move kill? <laughs> you're suicidal right now? He's at that point. Nah, it, I'm good right now. <laughs> just at the time. Uh, you made it. You was doing all that pump faking for nothing. I made it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you did make it. <laughs> All that pump faking, nigga. Come on. All right. So, like, she said that, and then I just kind of contemplated, and I was like, fuck it, right? Like, why not? I'm at a low point, whatever. So I started talking to her, and then, like, a day in, she was just like, I got to kill myself. I'm like, what? That's really the story. I'm sorry. It didn't get more fun. That was just where we're at. She just hit me with saying she wanted to kill herself. 
and I just left it at that. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that interesting of a story. We we probably put these on like the next Patreon. <laughs> the last two yeah, calls, my fault, my fault. No, the last two this calls been super dark. We had a dude that was like attracted to w- women that look like men, but says that he's not. He wasn't gay, or he doesn't think he's gay. <laughs> And then we now we got you, who's once suicidal, and you're talking to someone who else is suicidal. Can I at least comment on the dude who likes women that look like men? Uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, no Diddy, I get it. Like, I kind of get it. Like, th- did he is he attracted to, like, strength or something? Like, <laughs> like a brute type of thing? <laughs> like, what is that? I He just said that he likes when... Um, bigger Caucasian women have short haircuts and look like a guy. How short are we talking? He said like, like a mullet length, mm-hmm. like a mullet. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> There's no way he's good. Speaking as a former bisexual, he is gay. <laughs> 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 Wait, you used to you you used to be bisexual? It's complicated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I've never I've never heard of a reformed bisexual person. What? <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> no, that's unfair. You can't say you just can't turn okay. it. No, you just can't turn it off and turn it back on. You be like, oh, I ain't fucked a dude in six months. I ain't bisexual no more. Hey, nah, bro. At least two years, bro. <laughs> No, nah, it's not. It's not like a retirement. It's like a Clark Kent Superman type of thing. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's just whenever convenient. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> so you would still be bisexual then? Something like that. All right. Well, at least he know the other dude is yeah. bisexual. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what All better, right, who better to uh, tell us who's bisexual than a bisexual dude? Hey, man. Hey, appreciate you. <laughs> As our bisexual correspondent, because Key not here right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any gay <laughs> questions, I'm here. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we through, bro. <laughs> I think, I think we, All right, bro. Then we good for the year. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm Diddy's lawyer, by the way. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. My gosh. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What it do? Man, I ain't talking to y'all in a minute. What's going on? Hey, man. You know how you know how it is sometimes. Who Trey. is? I'm telling you. Oh, Trey, what up? <laughs> You disappeared after that thousand dollars I lent you. Now all, of a, now all of a sudden he's not available for listener callers that I gave him a thousand dollars and shit. First of all, it was ten thousand and I gave it back. Don't stop lying on me. All right. What's the weirdest way someone's ever slid into your DMs? All right. So one one girl asked me if I had a trash can in my house, right? A trash can? A, tr- a uh, actual trash can. Uh huh. And that shit was weird, right? So I pulled up. I was like, what you mean if I got a trash can in my house? She said, because I was trying to get somebody to do me dirty. Well, that's pretty smooth. Wait, wait, wait. Smooth. wait hold on. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to this story. I just want some clarification on something. She, she gave you this line, and then you mm-hmm. drove to her? Oh, no, 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 no. So I pulled up back in the DM. Oh, okay. I'm like, he pulled up. Like, you that horny? Like, yeah. That's a good ass line, girl. I'm already outside. I pulled up after, though. Uh, <laughs> now, that's crazy. That shit sounds like it stinks, though. <laughs> Any girl that wants to have sex by the trash can, they just trying to distract you from they smell. Let me put him by something stinkier than me. <laughs> Man, that's that crazy. Good. That's funny as hell, though. That, I didn't think about that. It's the garbage, baby. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, Trey, what you got to shout out? Hey, man, follow me on Twitch. It's Gaming 31 Yes, sir. Hey, he the first yes, dude sir. to play Fortnite and cook hot dogs at the same time. <laughs> I, I ain't never do that, but I'm shit. If y'all watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that boy do anything for money, huh? Uh, that's crazy. Nah, not, not money. Dude, I'm just trying to do something different. Nah. <laughs> hey, we got some viewers. Though. We just talked to a bisexual dude on the last call, so we're going to link y'all real quick. Nah, okay. Don't play. Wait. <laughs> what's wrong with that? Hey, no, no. Trey, let us know. Trey, let us know when you're back from your flight. 
Cause I know, I know y'all, um, y'all stranded there. They said he can't fly out. So let us know. Uh, I'm stranded. Where? <laughs> let I'm us know. We, let us know y'all. Y'all way back to the states. Way back to the. Oh, in Africa. No, 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 no. I know where y'all at. I seen y'all jet take off. Soon as they raided y'all house. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Let's know when oh, the yeah, love jet come back, man. <laughs> man, all right. See, I'm gonna holler y'all. See, y'all be playing. Got that boy trade handcuffs for no reason. <laughs> that boy's ready to snitch. <laughs> Trey, was, Trey was already in handcuffs before they got there. <laughs> hey, we didn't got yeah, to arrest that girl this with nigga. the damn trash can. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> bro. All right, peace. Yo, thanks. Thanks for having me on the pod, gang. <laughs> Nobody even welcome you, nigga. <laughs> Damn, welcome me, nigga. Nah, we got to get credentials first. What's your credit score? <laughs> slow down, slow down. Oh, wait. You in the, you in the car right now? So do you wanna keep uh, that's federal. Oh, my Lord. Who is? Why you saying All right, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I, wanna, I, like, wait, that, I, I like that saying, Wait, but though. this this next thing is going to make it seem why he's Slow down, slow down. That's tough. <laughs> All right, what's something that you like, but you can't say out loud? Scamming people. That's it? Scamming and finessing people? Yeah. Do y'all want me to, like, elaborate? Yeah. I mean, something without incriminating yourself. <laughs> but, yeah, something That's that what you. I'm saying. Um, ain't y'all want to, like, know my Ain't nobody going to recognize Ain't nobody gonna recognize this timid-ass voice. You good, bro. Just, <laughs> just, say, just say what you did. All right, bro, look. So... My biggest finesse, I'd probably say, was like, stole somebody ID, identity, when I say ID. Oh, um, you opened my eyes on that one. <laughs> type shit. Did know that. But yeah, <laughs> stole the identity, and I got about 100K out of it. That was my biggest leg. Damn. So what you do with that? What you do with that, that 100K? You know, I'm a, I'm a young nigga from Chicago, so I bought some guns. I bought a, a, a charger. Crash that bitch. Um, I bought some chains and shit. You know, I did some like you know stupid shit with the money. You know, like a nigga would. But you know, I'm in North Carolina now, so you know I did something. That don't count. Nah, that's not some real shit, bro. What part of Charlie? What part of Charlie you in? You said what part of Charlotte I'm at? Yeah. I'm in North Carolina. The Charlotte is in North Carolina, bro. What the fuck? I'm not in Charlotte, though. I'm in, what's this motherfucker? Winston-Salem. Yeah, bro, you know, it's like white people and shit out here, so, like, it's a different scenery. <laughs> so you're the only black person out there? It's not a lot. <laughs> No way. So you moved to Chicago <laughs> to Winston Salem, and you've been there what three years? And you doing all this? Three years is crazy. I've been here for a year. I've been, but I've been, I've been. Oh, so you the new black. So, so you the new black person in town. <laughs> um, you feel me? I come around causing havoc, fucking up the neighborhood. <laughs> you just got there. It's crazy, <laughs> bro. You done scamming though? You you can't scam in North Carolina. Why would I? What? I've been an Iowa scammer. That shit's crazy. Let me, I'm, well. <laughs> but, yeah, bro, you know, scamming is a part of life. Like, y'all, one of y'all from Chicago, right? Yeah. You ain't never scammed nobody? Nah. And you African, you African too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Nigerian. I'm, Niger- I'm Nigerian too. <laughs> That's my blood. <laughs> it's us, bro. You know, we're Nigerian. <laughs> In Western Salem, <laughs> that got there a year ago. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Look, let me what? say my people's from Nigeria. I don't really claim wait, wait, that. What's, you your, what's your nickname? Man? You got a nickname <laughs> or something that you go by? And- stolen. <laughs> or stolen. Or stolen. That's what people call you. Yeah. Mr. Honey K. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make right. it sick. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> Alright bro, peace. Alright, peace. peace. Yeah, that nigga cooked. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he said uh niggas always ratting on themselves. <laughs> bro, oh my god. Unprovoked. <laughs> like a nigga ain't even say that. Nigga literally said he wouldn't go snitch on this. <laughs> he just said I'm not fan. <laughs> I'm not scamming. You want me to explain? <laughs> 
Hello? Is it raining where you at? Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining everywhere, I feel like, right hey, now. You need your windshield wiper change. <laughs> Motherfuckers rubbing on the <laughs> Yeah, it's raining, but... Yeah. Oh, my God. Two weeks in a row. Let's go. <laughs> it's funny that we never know who's on back-to-back. Hey, lucky we didn't know that. But anyway, we got a question. What's the weirdest way that you slid into someone's DM? Okay, so the weirdest way I slid into somebody's DM that worked. So, like, I took one of their pictures. Uh-oh. One of the pictures on their, their page. And I, like, screenshotted it. And then I, like, put my number on the pants leg. Okay? But when I DM them, I was like, oh, you got something on your pants. And then it's like, okay, like, how does this girl see me to know what's on my pants? And then they said, what pants? And then I sent the picture of, like, him and then my number on his pants leg. No background check. No, you're making bad decisions back to back weeks. You have bad decision making. You know what? How is that a bad decision? I mean, one, you're driving, you're, you're, you're uh, well, I guess you can't text, talk, and drive. But anyway, when I have you, CarPlay. Which before you sent that, right? You turn that motherfucker down. Yeah, <laughs> you loud as hell. Before you sent that, did you have any fear of rejection? Not really. Well, okay, listen. I did get rejected, but he had a girlfriend at the time. <laughs> oh, so this, did, this didn't even work. <laughs> Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Because we're together now. Oh, damn. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. So he your boyfriend? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. Like boyfriend, like public, you can post him? Yes. This was three years ago. Oh, damn. No, four. Congratulations. Yeah, this was four years ago. You did your yeah. one. So what do you, what, so at that time. Yeah. You were saying success story. This is a comedy <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, no fucking success. So at the time, though, what did he reply with, though? Okay, so he said that, um, what, what did he say? I was like, well, I'm in traffic right now. I, but I know you got this shit screenshotted in a folder somewhere. Come on, no. You know what? Watch your mouth. Mm-hmm. But I have the, the original DMs. Now she, now know. she looking through Instagram and yeah. driving. Come on, no. That's crazy. Bad decision You maker. know what? Only thing she got you know right what? was her no, man. No, I'm not. Everything else. <laughs> You know what? Pat, you were just so messy. <laughs> Man, what do I do? Oh, yes, this is still 2022. Eh. But, like, I want to say, like, he had, like, said... Oh, this is 2022. Y'all remember okay, what he said? Wow. I do. I do remember. You supposed to remember but, like, the line by line. I mean, I got rid of it. I was like, damn. Like, you know, I'm never DMing nobody ever. After I've never DMing anybody after that. But, okay. And then he came so back he and said, got you. Yeah. So he left he his should. he left his girl. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna get to. No, 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 no. Go, go no. ahead, they go ahead. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? He left his girl. The DM. Damn, Pat, can I talk? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, the DM said, dead as fuck. We should def be friends. I respect that. Most girls wouldn't shoot at what they want. I got a girl though, and I said, El Mayo. No, nah, you gotta flip bad. that sentence oh, around. <laughs> this is get the chat, and then at the end he gonna say, I got a girl though. <laughs> he gonna show that he got a good personality first. He said, ah, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> you the one. You beautiful as fuck, but I got a girl. So would you think <laughs> And what's funny is that he said that that made his day. And mind nah. you, I okay, so like no, mind you, like, I followed his girl at the time, but I didn't know they were together. So he had told her about it, and then she unfollowed me, but it wasn't until, like, we, like, actually, like, started talking to where I was just like, yeah, because I, like, she unfollowed me. I remember, I was like, I don't know this girl. So I was like, okay, like, you know, people be on Instagram doing weird stuff, but yeah. See, girls, that's why you don't follow nobody you know. So, you can unfollow so, your replacement. So, <laughs> she followed me first, though. <laughs> that's what I just said. That's the advice I gave. Be quiet. <laughs> I got a question, my then. Fault, my fault. <laughs> if a girl DM'd your boyfriend right now and he replied in that way, what would you think? I just think he doesn't want to be on Earth anymore. Exactly. Good luck. That's <laughs> so, all he wanted to say. It's the same nigga. Same <laughs> <laughs> she no, listen. You act like it's a different person. Like, if my man did that, he already did that. No, but listen, that was that was four years ago. Right, right, right. But you better years. than her. Though. I got you. 
I ain't gonna say that, but, but yeah, so that was a success story. Yeah, 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 yeah. you got it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, appreciate you coming on. You did your All one. right, bye bye. Y'all. All right, bye. Found the one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Talking like it's a different dude. <laughs> That's the same nigga. If my man did that, well, he did the shit. <laughs> yeah. You ever heard of like the study five hard challenge? You never heard of seventy five hard? Or you just that's I pretty I feel like that's tough to do. Like to be on hard seventy five. <laughs> oh my god! It's the uh, it's the one the little challenge that people do on the internet where you like exercise forty five minutes a day, twice a day, drink a gallon of water, read three ten pages of uh, of a book, stick to a, a nutrition plan while avoiding alcohol and treat meals for seventy five like straight days, right? So I see people that do, do that. Live correctly. Yeah, yeah. But live life good. But very, it's very strict, right? So, but I didn't know they had something called seventy five soft. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it it's weird because there's already the challenge. If you can't do the seventy five hard challenge, there's no there's no point of making a easier one. Oh, and it's then, supposed to be easier. I thought seventy five <laughs> soft was like do a bunch of bad shit for seventy five days. <laughs> you gotta binge eat. <laughs> Hey, on the 45th day, you got to do some fentanyl on there. It's going to get tough. Yeah. It's levels to this shit for real. So I, I don't really get it because obviously people want to be, I just think it's almost like the participation uh, trophy for challenges. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, There's always something. It's like if you don't want to do the safe or hard challenge, just don't, don't do it and just live a different life. <laughs> Dog, I went to a marathon and niggas was walking. Like, yeah. where we do that at? Nah, nah, they can do walk in a marathon. Fuck all that shit. <laughs> If you ain't running, get the fuck out. <laughs> you can <laughs> run in a marathon. Nah, you can definitely you can definitely walk in a marathon. Yeah, but you need to be walking and running. You got about to walk this whole, whole motherfucker. <laughs> now I'm I here. Think, I think there's a time cap for some marathons, though. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but don't put don't post on the internet if you're gonna walk in that motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't sure up here to see no walking. Dude. So the seventy five the seventy five soft challenges rules are eat well in general and avoid alcohol except for social occasions. <laughs> Exercise every- once forty five minutes a day with one other day of active recovery. I guess seventy five hard is two times a day. Oh, so okay. forty five. Two times a day is kind of OD anyway. Just for, especially <laughs> if you got a nine to five. Yeah. That's tough. Drink three liters of water daily and then read t- uh, 10 pages of a book each day. I just think if you, because pe- I see people on my algorithm, I always see people doing like the 75 hard challenge, right? It's like 75 hard day, whatever, right? But I just don't know how much I respect if I saw you doing uh, <laughs> the 75 hard challenge, the soft challenge. Yeah. yeah. Knowing that it's, just, it's like, I don't know. I guess it's trying to give something a title every time when it doesn't need to be a title. Like to eat well and just only on special occasion. That's like should be like a, a general rule of thumb, right? Like to eat like a balanced, balanced lifestyle. Because diets to me don't work. After the 75 hard challenge, especially if you're doing something super tri- strict, it's hard to sustain that type of. Unless you, like, involve yourself in that lifestyle. Yeah. I feel like anytime you do, like, a, a 75 hard or, like, a diet, within that time, you have to teach yourself to do something else. Mm-hmm. So, let's say you weren't the best cooker. At the end of that 75 hard challenge, you need to be good at cooking. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what's going to change your life. It's like, you got to take something out of it. You can't just be like, do this and then be done with it. You're going to put the shit right back on. Yeah. All right. And other news, uh... NLE Chapo has a um, a song out, and I'm gonna play a little bit of it, and hopefully it doesn't get um, I don't get demonetized for it. But um, let's see. No. How you feel it, child? One, two, three, let's go. If I was a bad bitch, I wanna fuck me too. I wanna suck me too. I wanna suck me. <laughs> <laughs> no, a little growl after. So, mm, he doubling down on that shit. <laughs> nah, the funnier part too is the DJ ad libbing in the back too. He's like, "If I was a bad bitch, <laughs> I." <laughs> the only thing that I, like I think it, it 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 might work for the girls. So things about songs that are uh, produced and mastered, yeah, right. So if I was freestyling and I started rapping and getting a crowd pump like. If I was a bad bitch, I want to fuck me too. And I could just be like, go after the freestyle. Like, damn, I probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, they yeah. had the crowd rocking. Uh-huh. You know? But 
when you produce and master something, <laughs> you got to go over the lyrics. Yeah. So you said this about five, six times. Like you spent the hour in the studio saying the same exact line. Yeah. If I was a bad bitch, and you never slowed it down and thought to yourself, like, man, this shit didn't, do not sound good. <laughs> and even if, like, let's go the other way, away from the, like, the the pause way. Yeah. Let's, let's go to, like, the, you, you're saying that, this girl should want to fuck you too because she's bad is like a crazy line too. I think he's saying the girl. If I was a bad bitch, I want to fuck me too. Mean that he's like he's like trying to say like he's the prize, right? It's just a wild. Line. I think in his thought process though, with that song being made, I think he was like you know like a lot of these like um, women rappers, right? Um, they can have a lot of anthems. I like the sexy Reds, the Cardi B's, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And the Glorellas, they have like a lot of anthems, right? Yeah. And I think this is his attempt of making. A girl's anthem, because I just I don't see a whole bunch of dudes singing this along with him. Oh, you and th- how a girl a girl sing? I that? understand the girl is it's it's different when obviously it's a girl thing, but I think it's still easily chantable <laughs> for a girl to say it. Oh, even if even if Diddy makes it, I want to fuck me too. I guess yeah, <laughs> maybe I can't see. It. <laughs> but the, even a girl say if I was a bad bitch, you know you, uh, oh, you would, yeah, <laughs> a right. girl would want to th- already think she is. <laughs> But if. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he was a bad bitch. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, man. Uh, the NCAA tournament, right? I think the woman's, uh, the women's tournament is more interesting than the guy stuff. I don't know anything that's going on on the guy's side. I, I think there's, a, I, I'm more interested in the women's yeah. side than the men's. It was the same way for me last year. Yeah. But. I've learned to, even if I favor one side more, to kind of still look at the bigger picture, right? Mm-hmm. So if I was a, I'm a LeBron fan, I still look at, make sure I check Michael Jordan's stats and highlights before I just go off. Yeah. And and I can't say, like, LeBron's past Michael Jordan yet, even though LeBron is my favorite player. Mm-hmm. In the same sense, I didn't fill out a women's bracket. Yeah. You know what either. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, none of y'all did either. <laughs> yeah. like, like, let's be real. Like, I will watch... Two times as many women's games as I will men's games yeah. this year. But I also didn't fill out a men's bracket. It's okay for one one thing to get more popular and the other thing to get less popular. And the thing that was bigger before is still bigger than the other thing. Mm. And that's what's going on right yeah. now. Like, women's basketball is getting more popular while men's basketball is getting less popular. But it was such a big gap that the men are still in the lead. Yeah. And people care. Now, the final four... If I, that's when it gets interesting for me. That's when the women will take Because it's not really men. as many upsets to, in the women's that's, side That's always than the been a problem yeah. with the women's side. It's pretty predictable. Yeah. But now it's like almost seven teams that you, like, you don't know who's going to win a championship. So it's that final four. Especially when it gets to that final yeah. four. Because you see, I think LSU and Iowa kind of broke the code of like, the overall number one seed isn't that. Especially with the UConn falling off a little bit. As someone doesn't watch basketball like that, I don't, like you, I can't really name one notable uh, guys player right now. Cam. You disrespecting Cam right Who? now. From Purdue. Oh, Cam. Cam. Oh, yeah, yeah, Cam. Yeah, yeah. I know the... But day, we know him I, personally, I, though. I know the, the the other guy from um, you, Kentucky. Rob Dillian. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I know him because it's high school. Like, uh, yeah. you told me. But other than that, I don't know anybody that's like, who's like the stars right now in the... Right, it's the the big dude from. <laughs> <laughs> they, they got oh, yeah. yeah, man, yeah. Jalen Brunson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Meek Mill uh, finally blocked um, DJ Academics on Twitter. Good for him. Man. <laughs> They're back and forth. I think the thing with Meek is that you can only tough guys so much on the internet before you actually have to do something yeah. because, especially you get somebody that's like born on the internet was his academics right so academics is always gonna seem you know because meek mill does ask some random questions sometimes on the internet like hey i'm trying to start a podcast this and that and tr- looking for people to you know support it or people that want to pay money for it when he's like best friends with billionaires right not even that millionaires billionaires he's really good friends with them whereas like you think you would get that information from them before, you know, tweeting it, <laughs> tweeting it on the internet. And, you know, academics is never going to, like, once somebody goes at him, he's going to just be relentless. And the thing with rappers, obviously, a lot of rappers, they contradict themselves a lot. So they're going to always, like, and I think sometimes I argue in the way, same way academics does sometimes, where it's just, like, logic sometimes. Whereas, like, Meek Mill is just trying to say, and that type of shit, because he's like, how can you be for prison reform and then, you know, peace and violence when your music doesn't promote that at all 
Right. So it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a cat 22. Meek just needs to stay off Twitter. Like somebody needs to take over his Twitter. He's just not articulate enough yes. to like get in a <laughs> battle with somebody like DJ Academics. Yeah. Because in his head, in Meek's head, um, acad- if academics grew up in the hood, he wouldn't even be able to talk mm. without having to be some consequences. But what people don't know is when you become a grown man and you're not involved in the streets, you actually become more powerful than some people on the streets. Mm. Not in the sense of like, you know, head on. It's just in the sense of like, okay, he would call the cops. So like, what's all that rah rah shit mm. you're talking, right? What's all that like? I'm gonna show up to your front door. What if he calls the cops when yeah. you show up to the front door? <laughs> and then what? Now you in jail? Or oh, or oh, what he if he is, shoots you when he gets? Or to- or, you, or he shoots you yeah. and he doesn't shoot the fade with you like you wanted to. Yeah. Or and then after or he you know tells on you and then after that he snitches on you in court and you be like everybody he a snitch. And yeah. You're like so, <laughs> what happens then? You can't yeah. you can't try to like hold somebody to street code that wasn't. Born in the streets, like yeah, you can't do that. So me got to know that when he like enters the argument like that, like there's no winning this argument as a tough guy. And there's no point of inciting any type of violence to see like obviously he probably wouldn't do it, but he thinks that he's more he has enough pull in the streets where someone would crash out over trying to get academics for Meek in a sense. Where it's like Mm. that's also kind of like a a terrible thing to do in a sense. Mm. Where it's like. You know you want you trying to green light somebody and you know you know you have people in your life that would actually go do it mm-hmm. and you know you live in you know Jersey, New York, so you know they're gonna get caught, right? Yeah. So what's the point of like trying to like yeah. green light somebody, especially when you're trying to push peace? Yeah. <laughs> Meek Meek know he can't do that. Yeah, yeah. Meek know he like, bro, you're a black millionaire, right? <laughs> yeah. And you're supposed to be promoting positivity, which he does yeah, a I lot. Think, yeah, I think he does. You can't do that, bro. Yeah. You can't just sit here and beef with another black man regardless of how you feel about yeah. it. Yeah. I also don't always think I, I'm always on the fence of like if you're pushing peace, should your music reflect that? You gotta make money. Yeah. <laughs> and Meek Mill can't be a positive protester. Yeah. Like, it ain't gonna work out but for But I do him. like what me raps are just about like the hustle and shit like that. Yeah. That's like the you know, like feel like Rick Ross raps that way. They rap Rick about Ross what is, they've been through. Rick Ross is not really like you know he he came from the streets and obviously I would probably say he's a correctional officer and all that yeah. stuff, but he still came from the streets, right? Mm-hmm. And he doesn't really rap too much like mm. st- street shit. And even when he does, it seems more like a uh, mafia organized boss type of shit. And, and in a <laughs> sense though, if you have that much money, you can talk shit like that. Yeah. Now to say like, Oh, I sold 15 kilos and I robbed 50,000 people back in the day. And uh-huh. then you didn't, then it's like, all right, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but then if you rich now and you say like Rick Ross has over a hundred million dollars, you say, uh-huh. would you say that like close to it or something? Over like what? A hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah. Right. You would say that man has enough for a small army. Yeah. So if he say, if he rapping to get somebody to say, nigga, I'll make you disappear. Shit, I believe him. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he can hire people. But I always think like, if he puts it on a, on a track, I don't think they'll do it. Huh? I don't think after somebody, like, it, it, it has to be a real, like, somebody that's still, like, actively. I would say, like, King Von was a, a little bit like that, mm-hmm. where he was, like, the be- be- uh, believability of him yeah. was a lot more, especially with, like, all the documentaries and stuff, whatever you believe, whatever you want to yeah. believe. But not- you, you don't have to be as lyrical when you yeah. have believability. <laughs> yeah. Niggas say he kills somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I believe him. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, I don't know. But academics also picks and chooses his battle because when... You know, he'll offer the box like a little baby and a Meek Mill, right? Yeah. Just a, a hand-to-hand combat. And I'm not going to lie, I don't know who would win those fights, right? Right. Nobody does. Yeah. But, you know, when Blueface offered him the same hands, it was like a different tone because he's seen Blueface fight. Yeah. Blueface could fight. <laughs> so- <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's always been the the problem with academics, but I think that's why he's so angry now. Yeah. Because he looks back on tape and he sees like, <laughs> How rappers play him in the past, yeah. and like how Vince, uh, what's not Vince, uh, Vince Mensa, Mensa, Mensa yeah. how Soldier Boy did him. Soldier Boy told him shut the fuck up one mm. time. It's just like now he sees that. Now he's like been through the industry and realized like these dudes. What he realizes like these dudes been rich for so long. You are just as street as me. Yeah. You're no more street than me. Yeah. The <laughs> same dudes that's around you, the 26 street niggas that you got around you. You only can take a certain amount of people to a place, and I'm bringing the same amount of security to that yeah. space. So, again, it's just me and you and then a bunch of niggas with guns. A bunch of trained niggas, too. A bunch of trained niggas with guns, <laughs> yeah. right? So, at the end, that's what DJ Academics is saying. Like, yeah. it's even. But and I think he's also... 
Go ahead. In a street dude sense, it's probably so irritating. Like, man, I wish this nigga was like yeah. on the streets of Atlanta. So I and, and I think in another case, he started to realize that, you know, once you get in the industry, even like us being in the industry a little bit, like even just like our, our toes dip, I start to know how much these rappers and these like other podcasters or these athletes are actually making. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. and sometimes you're like, eh, it's not that, it's not as, sometimes not as all, you know, <laughs> sunshines and rainbows as we think it is. And he knows that these labels that they're on pay him. Out of their budget, out of their marketing budget yeah. for them to promote them. So it's like he's like, bro, y'all, y'all, let your label relies on me. Yeah, yeah. So what, what I gotta respect you for? Why are you talking to me spicy like this? The, the number, the numbers have like been public now yeah. for like I feel like the past five years where Spotify, Apple Music, they're literally telling you how much an artist gets per stream. Mm-hmm. Then you can find out how much that artist is streaming, and then you can go back and find that artist deal. Like, what deal is he in? Okay, he got this type of deal. This is how much he's taking home. You can literally calculate. And then you got a dude telling you, hey, 100 million, 100 million. You're looking at this shit like, bro, it look like you made 500,000, yeah. and you owe that back. Uh-huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm just like, so, so now we to this point, but that's why I believe the believability rappers yeah. who might have street money, that it's just like a different set. You yeah. know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like a different. I different always wonder, too, like if I was if I was in music, like there's some rappers and, and people like and musicians that always say like, oh, I turned down like um, the, the two million dollar advance or the two million dollar deal. Right. Because yeah. I want to own my shit and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I always wonder, like. If I was in that position, would I accept that money up Take front? The deal. <laughs> like I think sometimes it's like some people want to own their masters, and I feel like some people don't even know what to do with their masters, right? And yeah. know how to like distribute it and stuff like that to actually make the money. But it's nice to have it when you figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there's some people that's not even making. You know, we've recently gone through this. Is like somebody tried to monetize our content before us on yeah. a, on a, on a site on an app, uh-huh. and it's just like. Bruh, how are y'all making money off us mm-hmm. just because y'all claim something before us? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get that. I got to be the worst feeling in the world. Hearing <laughs> your song all over these places and then not getting money for it. <laughs> yeah. Knowing some random dude is yeah. getting money because he signed you when you ain't have nothing. Uh-huh. That's a cra- I know be this a is also like an old topic too, but remember like the, the whole like different Fortnite dances, people like these like people from like New York or something, like they, they're getting their stuff dances stolen from mm. like Fortnite and stuff like that and there's yeah. like you can't really copyright a, a dance. dance yeah so, so it's it's so like man it's hard being a creative sometimes because like there's such leeway into like what can be taken mm-hmm. and what cannot be taken what you can actually do about it and what you can actually not do about it man <laughs> there's gonna be so many new rules with uh like content creators uh-huh. that's coming up with the tiktok might be getting shut down yeah <laughs> Fingers crossed, man. <laughs> Pat, Pat has a love hate relationship, man. Uh, hey, bro, TikTok be hating, bro. Uh-huh. TikTok won't even let us repost our own content because it says it's unoriginal. Where are they originated? Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> but you let other people take our content, repost it, and then get 15 million views. Yeah, uh, that don't make sense, man. <laughs> Sounds a little fishy to me. <laughs> Uh, what else did I have? So recently we were at, um, the analysis yeah. event for the Nasus. Uh, he had a live podcast with his brother, Giannis. Mm-hmm. He had a special guest, Stephen A. Smith. Um, we watched that great event. Over a thousand people showed up. I think they were expecting 200 and a mm-hmm. thousand people showed up. I don't know why he thought that though. Huh? I don't know why he thought that. But you never know, though. Yeah, I get I, it, though. I get you, it, you but... It's hard to guess a thousand but, people are going to But Bucks fans are Bucks fans. Man. People got to realize that. Blazing. <laughs> yeah. Tough. They love the Bucks. Yeah. We love the Bucks, but they love the Bucks. Yeah, they love the Bucks. They die for that shit. Yeah. I get hurt over it. I yeah. die. But, um, but we were networking after. You know, we had a private event after or whatever. And um, we were networking. And what I realized, like... I, should, I, I definitely was grateful for the networking because mm. 99% of the people I networked with, we crossed paths at some point and it's just like, well, we can definitely work together in the future on something, mm-hmm. you know, what you do and what I do, right? Yeah. But what I realized that 
it sucks really bad when you find out super early in the conversation the person you're networking with, like, this shit not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was networking with a construction worker, like a construction <laughs> manager. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck are we going to yeah. do with this? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got a podcast. He's like, yeah, man, I love podcasts. I'm like, nigga, what you want me to do? Do a live podcast at the site? <laughs> All right, fellas, would you rather <laughs> lift up that center yeah. block or be on that machine? Yeah, I, I try not to, like... I always try when I'm having conversations. I try to like, always listen with, with like real intent. Somebody sometimes, yeah, that's what I try but to then do there's sometimes there's always the moments in the conversation where, uh, a person says something where I was like, "Damn, this is not gonna work." <laughs> it's just like the one thing. It's like uh, yeah. it's like, and I don't know what I never know what to say in those situations. They never ask me if it was a good idea or not. But sometimes if they ask me, I'll be like, "Oh, maybe you could try it like this way too, right?" Yeah. But then when they say, "Nah," I, be, I, I think this. I'm like, man. man. The worst thing is when somebody got an idea and you say it's a good idea and they already got it mapped all the way out. <laughs> So they're about to show you everything. Yeah. Like, this is the logo. You're like, fuck. I yeah. thought this was just an idea. I don't want to hear this shit, man. <laughs> and the funnier thing for me is, especially when I have conversations with older people, you know, older people, sometimes I forget stuff all the time, but sometimes they forget that you had that conversation with you. Yeah. But you got, as as just like being a gentleman and just a nice person, you got to sit through the same conversation. There's some a couple of like mentors I have who are older and- they would just tell me the same story over and over. And I'd be like, yup. And act surprised every time. Like, oh, damn, that's that's crazy. And nah. just get, <laughs> you I can't do them? that shit no more. I've been doing that shit my whole life. <laughs> Bro, I'm the king at letting somebody get away with the same conversation. Yeah. I, never, I don't do that shit no more. I stopped that shit 2024. <laughs> I'm cutting niggas off all 2024. You said that already. <laughs> you did that already. You no, talk, we talked about that already. Past the key of telling you if he saw, if you send him a, a meme or anything, if he, is, he thought, finds it funny, he's going to tell you that he saw it already and then continue the conversation yeah. again. He's like, no, nah, he saw it already, but yeah, I can't believe she did that. Mm. <laughs> saw that shit a month ago? <laughs> this is funny, buddy. <laughs> Man, the worst thing is like, I, I realize as podcasters, we can't give out empty compliments anymore mm -hmm. because I'm the... I love gassing people up. Yeah. You know, I feel like... No, you're definitely a gasser up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially I think I'm the, the least gasser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> least gasser. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, like, when I see pe I see somebody's stuff and I'm like, damn, that's decent. It's not eight like decent. Like, this is like 99 likes decent. Mm -hmm. It's not thousand like decent, but this is very underrated. And then I think I'll gas it up to that point. And I just be like, damn, bro, this content is fire. When I used to do that, it just be I just get a thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. But now I get a thanks, bro. You trying to put this on a podcast? <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> no, that shit ass, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> that shit not good, bro. I ain't gonna I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not it. That Have thing you ever, I said, I take it back. <laughs> Have you ever lied uh, to somebody like about like the, the advice you give them? Is they ask you an opinion about something? The advice I give them? Well, I guess I guess somebody asks you an opinion about an item or a product or something they're working on. Have you ever lied to them? And say you liked it when you really didn't like oh, it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I work corporate, hell yeah. <laughs> because it's like... There's nothing, especially if there's nothing I can do. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just saw you work on this shit for three months. Uh -huh. And you're the person that's going to put it out. And nobody's checking your stuff. You only got one more approval to go. That's the CEO. Yeah. Shit look good to me, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm going to be like, yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't yeah. like this. Obviously, you got to catch the vibe of why somebody's showing you some yeah. shit. I think a lot of people should, like, Take into that because the, the the thing is that person might not have a good product then, but that was the best that they could put out at that moment. Mm -hmm. And you got to let them build up. I, I, they'll see it themselves, but you can't. If somebody comes to you like, "Hey, bro, check this out. Look what I did right here, right here," and they ain't ask your opinion, you be like, "Nah, I'm not fucking with this." Like, bro, shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, I feel that. I think I'm always of the of the opinion of always saying like, um, of always saying. Like, my opinion doesn't really matter. Like, hey, because I, I really, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Because I always tell, I always tell people to. That shit matter, bro. <laughs> I always tell people to just to try it. Like, because I don't know everything, right? Like, oh, should I post? Did this post look good to post? And something like, I don't know. Just try it. I hate when people try sometimes trying to. I like people ask me for advice on things, right? Like, oh, should I post it this way? But 
at the end of the day, my advice is always just do what you think you feel is right. Mm-hmm. And you can be wrong a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the internet and everything else will will let you know if you're right or wrong. Yeah, you sound like a whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, how this look? Hey, man, <laughs> whatever God tells you. Man. Yeah, that's why I'd be like, <laughs> what? It's always hard for me to do that sometimes because I have, I know I'm stubborn in my own way of thinking sometimes, mm-hmm. and I never want to push that thinking onto someone else's, like, creative creativity, right? Mm-hmm. So I let them do their own thing creatively, and whatever happens happens and then when you don't get the good results then i can be like all right this is what i would actually change so now it seems like i'm coming from a a better place one time a a dude sent me something and the product was so bad that i had it on my screen and i literally did this (laughs) like bro and it was like i was like oh shit what am i doing and i was like bro that shit was so ass (laughs) Like, <laughs> it not only yeah. wasn't good, it was ass, too. Was it good food? It was a it was a shirt. Oh. Uh. <laughs> it was like, but it was like on a gildan, yeah. and then the logo was small, but it had that, like, outline, so it looks like, you can tell it was done by, like, a machine. Yeah. And it's just like, bruh, it's too much technology out here to be putting on a clothing brand like yeah. this. <laughs> Everybody got to start somewhere, though. Huh? Looking at clothing, though, we do got merch dropping soon. Merch dropping if soon. I remember, if I remember for uh, visual listeners, I'm gonna place it right here. We're he gonna probably gonna remember. He don't <laughs> like that. Nah. We, if we get, we should. I put in samples, so we probably wear the samples on the pod in the next podcast. He'll wear it. Um, I and got, I, got, I got a Gucci shirt to get off. <laughs> <laughs> the next podcast will it'll be probably no next Wednesday. We'll probably release it when we right next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, hold me to it, y'all. <laughs> Next Wednesday, we got merch coming out. Well, um, him, bro. I can't believe we did this whole podcast with glasses on. Um, bro, I'm not acknowledging that shit. I can wear glasses if I want. Audio listeners didn't know you had glasses on. Huh? Oh, my bad, audio listeners. <laughs> it's a lot of shit they don't know. Though. <laughs> Here we go with that shit. <laughs> All right, this has been episode. Hey, if, if you wasn't listening before episode fifty, you not no real audio listener. <laughs> you ain't no real ho ass nigga. Nah, because there there are some audio listeners that are inheriting beef that has like they listen. We're on episode one, yeah. four, one forty seven, and they're listening from one. Yeah, and they start inheriting that beef. Exactly, they're not inheriting beef. They inhaling beef. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this has been episode one forty seven of Crash Dummies podcast. Appreciate y'all. Um, subscribe to Patreon. Peace.